Well, I know it's going to sound kind of crazy, but I got a call at 10 o'clock in the morning, and they said, could you read the script by noon? And I said, what's the rush? And they said, well, because the producers want to speak to you at 2 o'clock. And, and I said, okay. And, and they said, because then at, by 7 o'clock that night, you have to make a decision as to whether or not you're going to do it. That's never happened in, I don't know, it's 30-something years of acting that there was ever so, so much pressure to make a decision if I was going to do something. And it was because they had to then get a work permit because I would be filming in uh, Vancouver, Canada, British Columbia. And um, you can Google it. It's on the map. It's above Seattle. Um, um, yeah, and, and that, was, that was it. So what was the question? Well, yeah, how did you get involved? So what that did they it. pitch to you when they gave you that <clears throat> well, 10 That was it. That was the, the, the kind of pitch it was just to read it. And the thing that was good about just by coincidence, maybe they knew that I was curious about it, but um, at a very early age, I began, began being curious about consciousness. And what is consciousness? How did we become conscious of our consciousness? And that led me to lots of books about on the subject, uh, a really wonderful one, because it has such a clever title, uh, The Origin of Consciousness in the Bicameral Mind. Uh, it's a really interesting book. We, that he, he felt that the two hemispheres of our brain used to communicate. We didn't really understand that it was a one mind, but it was actually two minds. It's an interesting book. But then there's a man named Terence McKenna, who was a professor at University of uh, Berkeley in California, um, who did lots of investigations into uh, uh, psychotropic drugs like ayahuasca and mushrooms and, and peyote. And he feel, felt because he's passed now, uh, that it was through psychotropic drugs that that was the, like Aldous Huxley said with the doors of perception, was the drug that was kind of gateway to opening up our minds to consciousness. Um, I've never done psychotropic drugs, but it sounds fascinating. Um, <laughs> my wife is sure that you can achieve the same thing without using psychotropic drugs, but through meditation and uh, yogic practices, you know, through exercise and, and dance. Um, so, yeah, that's how she achieves her, her kind of bliss. Um, but so this script came along, uh, which is kind of, an, while it's an investigation about what the greatest mystery of life, death, what happens when we die, it's also, in a, in a way, kind of a story about consciousness, you know, that, that uh, they say that we never start living until we understand that we're going to to die, till we embrace our own uh, mortality. And I think that there's great truth in that. 